Welcome. This video is going to show you guys how to create scatter plots and calculate the correlation coefficient as we did in the lecture six notes. Uh, as always, first thing we have to do is open up a data set here. I will use the exact same data set we use in our notes. Uh, it's labeled lecture L6 for lecture six correlation. Open that up and remember this has the temperature for seven days as well as the number of emergency phone calls. So in order to create a scatter plot here, what we're going to do is use the graph builder as we've done before. You go to graph, graph builder. And remember that whenever creating a scatter plot, if you have an explanatory variable, that always goes on the x-axis. So in this case, temperature was our explanatory variable and the, the number of emergency calls was the response. And whenever you do this, it will create the scatter plot automatically for you without creating any kind of um, without telling it what type of graph to create, it will do a scatter plot automatically. The only thing is we want to get rid of what Jump refers to as this smoother. And there are several ways to do this. First off, you could right click on the graph and where it says smoother, hover over that and then choose remove. That will get rid of your line. The other thing you could do is at the top up here, scatter plot is automatically selected and this next next option says to add the smoother. So if you click it, it would put it on. And likewise, if it was already on and you wanted rid of it, you could go ahead and select it again, getting rid of the smoother. And that's generally what we want. That smoother will not be helpful to our purposes for this class. All right, so as you remember, to get this into your homework, then right click on it, choose edit, copy graph, and you would very easily be able to paste that into your homework. The other thing worth mentioning here is if you wanted to draw the regression line onto this graph, um, you could choose this option at the top, which has the straight line, and that would put the regression line on there. The only thing is it puts these bands around it. We don't really understand what those mean yet, so I'm not going to talk about that at this time. Okay, the other thing that we want to be able to do then is to calculate the correlation, and this is sort of hidden in its own little menu. Uh, what you would do to find the correlation coefficient is if you go to Analyze, down to Multivariate Methods, choose Multivariate, and here we won't identify the response and the explanatory variable because to calculate correlation that information is not needed. So you will notice then if you look in these options the only thing that says required is where it says Y columns. So we will pick both variables and put them in this Y columns box. Uh, select OK and we'll be able to get the correlation off of this output. So one thing worth mentioning is it, it creates scatter plots for you. Uh, we're not going to worry too much about those because it's a scatter plot matrix rather than just the scatter plot we were interested in. But what we are interested in is the correlations up here at the top. They give you the correlation matrix, which will give you the correlation between uh, any two variables. And if you had more than two variables, this is a really useful tool because you can get all the correlations at one time. Um, but anyway, for instance, along this diagonal here, it will always be one because it's telling you the correlation between temperature and itself. And any variable is perfectly correlated with itself. So we're not interested in the ones along that diagonal. Rather, we're interested in these off-diagonal entries. This tells you that the correlation between temperature and the number of emergency calls is 0.8114. Thank you.